My fiancé and I have been together for six years. We have an amazing relationship and shortly after we got engaged, we decided to make our secret fantasy a reality. I asked my fiancé if he would be willing to have a threesome, a one-off experience for us both before we get married. We both agreed to doing this and I ended up asking a friend of mine if she would be willing. We all agreed and after a lot of great communication, we worked out what we were okay with and how it would all go down. Fast forward to the night, we all had quite a bit to drink. To be honest, the whole night felt like an exciting blur. Last week, she called and dropped an absolute bombshell on us. She called me when I was at work and told me that she was pregnant. I guarantee you, they're not going to be friends for long. But should it? Sad. <laughs> but should it? Should what? I mean, they all agreed to, you know, yeah, to do but the now, threesome. Yeah, but now a baby is involved. This is why you have your freaky episodes with people that you do not know. Right. I would, I would not Go have done that. And get your freak on. I mean, hopefully there would be no baby involved, but at least for somebody that you probably ain't never going to see again. Mm -hmm. So video number three. Number video three. Number three. Um, how would y'all handle this? A woman is calling off her wedding because her fiance got her best friend pregnant mm. during a threesome. What in the... Damn, this is interesting. Right? Yeah, this should be interesting. It's this drum podcast. Oh. Uh, uh, wait a minute, I ain't got a set, so. Oh, see, here you go. Y'all wait. Stay ready, so we ain't got to get ready. Didn't, didn't I, I tell didn't you the tell you last you that girl that said that end up pregnant? Oh, damn. <laughs> damn it. She talk about shooting up the club. <laughs> Let's go. This is the wildest ask uncut we have ever received i'm at an absolute loss my fiance and i have been together for six years we have an amazing relationship and shortly after we got engaged we decided to make our secret fantasy a reality i asked my fiance if he would be willing to have a threesome a one-off experience for us both before we get married we both agreed to doing this and i ended up asking a friend of mine if she would be willing we all agreed and after a lot of great communication we worked out what we were okay with and how it would all go down fast forward to the night we all had quite a bit to drink to be honest the whole night felt like an exciting blur last week she called and dropped an absolute bombshell on us she called me when i was at work and told me that she was pregnant i don't even have words Preg. Pregante. And that my fiancé is the father. I called my fiancé straight away. He said, oh, my God, I actually think the condom did break, but I was too drunk to remember or to even think about talking about it. She's decided to keep the baby. Holy shit. I know. She says, I feel really blindsided. I have no idea what to do. How do I even process this? My fiancé and I do want kids together one day, but the idea of him having a baby with another woman makes me feel sick. How do we explain this to friends and family? How do we know if this can even work? I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know. A baby by another woman, but just a mm. baby by your, by your best friend. Yeah, that's yeah, man. So, uh, take them. Should she leave him? Mm. But that was a mutual agreement. Yeah, but well, you know what happens, man. When you, like, when I mean, when you, you play with a gun, change. sometimes you get shot. The dynamics are going to change between those friends. I guarantee you, they're not going to be friends for long. But should it? Sad. <laughs> but should it? Should what? I mean, they all agreed to, you know. Yeah, to do but the now, now, now a baby is involved. This is why you have your freaky episodes. With people that you do not know. Right. I would I would not Go have to done an that. Island and get your freak on. I mean, hopefully there would be no baby involved, but at least for somebody that you probably ain't never gonna see again. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, don't get me too, wrong. Like too, them having the alcohol. Yeah. It's too easy that for that to ha to happen. It's your friend like again, because then the trust factor is too too high. Because you know, Cause this my person, thing is I'm gonna think, where, okay, you know what, now you're gonna keep doing it with him or her. Or not or even that, just the fact that like <clears throat> if it was a stranger you thinking about different stuff. You even if you drunk, you kind of like, all right. Well, I ain't gonna just run up in her row. I don't know her. You know, yeah, that stuff be on your mind. Yeah, but which is your, why they introduced alcohol. Uh, your, but but, but they, he did say they had a, they had a condom on. And I it know, broke. But, but when you when it's a stranger, you thinking more. You thinking more, even more when cautious. you cautious. You more cautious with it. Okay, this was so her pretty friend. Much so he was already like, comfortable. He probably already knew the friend. I wouldn't have did that. Listen, I've had a rendezvous too in my day. Yeah. So. So what? Uh, Papa was a roller. Is Papa still a rolling stone? Papa was a roller stone. That's the one. That's the one. He laid the hat. He said stone. a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. So see, Dave. Let me ask you, though. What would you do in a situation like that if you was a guy 
I mean, there's nothing I can do. If she going to have it, like, nothing I can do. I mean, we all, it was all consenting, so I wasn't, it wasn't no deceit. So it was just True. like, all right, now I got this kid, and me and her going to either have to go to therapy to get through it, or she probably going, you know, go a separate way. I'm not, not taking care of my kid, but yeah, it is what it is. So you either, you're going to walk this journey with me, or unfortunately, you got to go our separate way because I'm not. Not not taking care of yeah. my kid. Hey, like, look, you're going to walk your journey with me or I'm going to get with your girlfriend. Hey. That, damn. I mean, because I'm going to put my day, family together. Yeah, because now at hey, the end Michelle. of the day, now he's going to have to, like, really learn this friend on a more personal level. Me personally, I would not want to have something like that with somebody that I know. And then number yeah. two, you know what? Let's just turn the lights off. I don't even want to see who the hell you are. Like, just, <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's look. Let's just do the thing. Get it. Get lights. it done and over with. I ain't gotta see your face. <laughs> like you My ain't gotta see mine. <laughs> let's just enjoy the moment and then look. By the time I wake up, you going. Yeah, it look like, it like this. It like this. Hold on, cut that light back on. You ain't my man. That was too big. Look. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Plaga. Oh, what's good, bro? Ski. That's a different, that's a difficult situation. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, um, I mean, it's kind of. You know, as a female, because you know, females, of course, are emotional. So, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to mm -hmm. separate the emotion of, okay, yeah, this is my friend. And then at some point, the girl who's the fiance is probably going to start to think, you know, that she's being betrayed at some point when it really isn't betrayal. It's just him doing his job yeah. as a father or, now. Or, 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 or even the, the, the trust factor. I mean, would you be able to trust your friend? Or not even the betrayal. Yeah, but just, why not? Like, I mean, the friend didn't do anything wrong. But not even the betrayal. Just the fact that, you know, having a baby is a very intimate thing. If you're, if you're, yeah. if you're the type of guy that's, you know, want to be involved and also like, when my when my kids was born, like I'm there with their mother. I'm you know sitting there with her while she got contractions, or mm -hmm. you know you running out getting her the weird food at two o'clock in the morning and all. So you doing all that stuff, and it just builds intimacy because it's like, damn, you going through this, and I can't really do nothing for you because you know you're the one carrying it. So like, yeah, so that's be, gonna be the tough supportive. part when he especially be for her because I bet she's thinking, oh well, they gonna get together. Yeah, so you like, know what I mean? They gonna wind up hooking up. Or just the fact that right. he, he got to go. Just the fact that he got to go there. Like, uh, she need whatever. What is it? Lamas class or something or whatever. He got to go with her. Right. Yeah. His baby. So he got to go to doctor's appointments. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, she's going to at some point get to the point where she's going to feel like she's being betrayed to a point. But but it's not really betrayal. Y'all all came to an agreement to do yep. this, and yeah. just like with with any sex with anybody else, there's always going to be consequences at some point. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just maybe what they probably should have incorporated into that scenario was swallowing both of them. Hello, both of them take a plan B the next day. That way they didn't have to worry about that. She swallowed it. Have you ever? No matter, just don't bite it. <laughs> have, you really? ever, have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> have you ever, have you ever been swallowed? I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. He said he was too drunk. To say something when the condom broke. He knew that damn condom he broke. Knew. He so was in there the He knew the condom. Listen. I'm really in Michelle now. <laughs> <laughs> so so the question is, is did, he, did he want her from the beginning? <laughs> he probably did. Oh. Listen. Did he want her from the beginning? Oh. Wait, 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 Listen. Uh, yeah. Oh. Give it to the T. Look. Hot Javiero over there, y'all. <laughs> Hot Javiero said Listen. It. That's where, like me, if I had a girl and her friend was bad, no, <coughs> no, <laughs> CJ, no, 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 I'm not. Now, if you want to give me precious over here, we can try this. <laughs> but no, that's like this. I know your girl. Listen, let me tell you I something. don't want her. Mm -mm. Let me tell you something. I can't control myself. Tell you and I know, I know all men has probably experienced. Oh. Uh, when you when you going ham on a girl, you, sometimes you be like, I'm trying to break this condom because I don't want a guy. I'm going ham. If you say no, you're a GD liar. Yo, dang it, tell him. You're Shut your damn damn man. I mean, you, 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 right there. If you are, if, 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 if you are, I'm listen, trying to tell listen, if yes, you, are, you going ham. If you are trying to break that, joke. if you are our age, thirty five <laughs> and up. 
there is at least one time in your life before where you was in there trying to get as much friction as possible <laughs> to make that thing pop. Cause you so want, you could have a baby? So you know, you could feel the no, real thing. No, so you can feel the guts. Yeah, the, 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 well, the baby sometimes, that's just you didn't No, that you, you, you didn't want you're that You're trying pop. to feel them. Yes. You're trying to feel them. You're not getting them in them you trying to feel them smooth, Y'all creamy walls. <laughs> that's all Y'all you trying to get to. Yep. Yeah. Uh, wow. uh, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't do so that. So you're yes. trying to do every week. Yes. So you know when you open that door, you like especially man. especially when you get a, a a woman that you've been trying to get for the longest. You didn't court it. You didn't pursue. You might even trick a little bit. You just doing whatever. You trying to get her attention, and finally she drop her guard and say, "You know what? Come on, let's go out." And then you sitting there, you at the restaurant or whatever, mm -hmm. and she give you that little smile, a little bite the lip, or she take her <laughs> hand and she rub it, rub your hand, take your hand and rub it against her thigh, or you in that car. And she kind of like open her legs, a little spread, a little eagle, a little bit. You start touching on that inner thigh, and you know it's coming. You say, "Ooh, I'm tonight. I'm, I'm going right through this one tonight." You gonna pick? You gonna try to find one of the older ones you got? Oh my you god! Looking at the date. Okay, this one say the 2022. One that yeah, I'm, I'm a, yep. This oh, is yeah, a, I'm going. Hey, I'm going hard, man. In the paint. You grab the smallest rubber yep. you got, boy. You go ham to that jaw go, mm -hmm. and then you like, oh, there it is. If you did not do that, you're a liar. If you if you saying you didn't do that, you're a liar. I, I swear. You you have a we just we just we just we just we just telling you how men think. You ever purposely put a hole in the condom? No. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah, but you purposely try to pop it. Mm hmm. You just oh. go boo 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 like uh, what's that uh <laughs> little Uzi? Boo, 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 boo. You try. Your heart is for that thing to just, and you know, and, and you know when it pop, when it pop, because it all of a sudden that sensation on the on those nerves, it get different. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't got through it. I didn't got through it. I'm wrapped up. Listen, we just trying to tell you how us men think. Yeah, okay. we just telling you the truth. I, I hear y'all. Like I yeah. said, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm the student tonight. Y'all teach me a lot. Hey, we're trying to teach Miss Hopper Hero. Listen, it happens. It happens. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so that's why I say that. I call BS on him. Yeah, him. he was too drunk. So no, that no. motherfucker, he, he knew he that shit. He was trying to hit Michelle. He for wasn't the that drunk. For him to even mention it, he knew. He was trying to hit Michelle for the longest. Yeah, for the longest. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. his wife finally cracked it. He's like, right. ooh, tonight's the night. Like, Betty Wright. <laughs> it's on. Yeah. He's like, I cracked that egg. Yes. Now, I mean, this John Podcast. This John Podcast. Goddamn, drop a like, drop a if comment.